All right, so let's talk about the law of conservation of mass. The law of conservation of mass states exactly what it sounds like it should. Mass is neither created or destroyed during a chemical change. It is conserved. So we are only going to be able to change mass or change matter. We're not allowed to actually create matter out of nothing or destroy matter into nothing. Um, all right, so how is this helpful in dealing with, chemi in dealing with chemical reactions? All right, so let's deal with it. Here's a scenario that we might use to uh, employ the law of conservation of mass. All right, let's say we have an experiment. We have 10 grams of red uh, mercury-2 oxide, and it's placed in an open flask. All right, it's heated until all of it decomposes, and it decomposes in into its elements mercury and oxygen. And the liquid mercury has a mass of 9.26 grams. What is the mass that, uh, of oxygen, that gas, that is formed? All right, so we started off with a mass of 10 grams of mercury-2 uh, oxide. Okay, we're going to take this uh, yield sign. This is saying here are the reactants. The reactants are decomposing into its products. We're going to say this is equal to. We have mercury. Mercury we measured, and as you said, it's 9.26 grams. Okay, and we want to know how much, how much oxygen gas is given off. We don't know. We, also, we do know that the law of conservation of mass states that we're not going to destroy any matter. We can't create matter out of nothing. So the, same, the mass on this side should equal the mass of the products. So we can just do a basic mathematical problem and subtract 9.26 from both sides. And we're we come up with 0.74 grams of oxygen gas that's given off. Okay, so the law of conservation of mass is really easy and it's really, it explains um, the simplest concept that, that we cannot create matter out of nothing and we cannot destroy matter into nothing.